Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you 7 paid Android apps that are worth every penny. Now let's say you got a Google Play gift card, or maybe you've been using Opinion Rewards to stack up the credits. Well regardless of how you came into your windfall, these are some of the best bang for your buck apps out there. Now first up is Manual Camera, which will run you $2.99. This one actually uses Android 5.0 and Up's new Camera 2 API to provide a lot of manual controls for your photos. You've got an exposure dial over here, you can set the white balance manually, and you can even manually adjust the focus distance so it gives you full control over your camera like nothing else. The next up is Pocket Casts, which will run you $3.99, but honestly it's the best podcast app out there. You can browse their Discover section to find a bunch of cool podcasts, or you can just search for an exact one if you'd like. But once you've subscribed to a podcast, there's some pretty cool options. Just hit the Podcast Settings menu in the three-dot overflow, then you got stuff like Start All Episodes From, which lets you skip the introduction to podcasts. You can actually automatically download the latest episode, and you can clean up the older episodes after they've been downloaded. Then when you're actually playing a podcast, there's some more cool options down here. You can adjust the playback speed. You can even remove all silence or boost the volume. So Pocket Casts is probably the best podcast app out there. The next up is an app called Smart IR Remote, which will run you $6.99, but honestly it's worth every penny if you have an IR blaster built into your phone. You can program this to control almost any remote-enabled device in your whole house. And if you get the pro version, you can add as many devices as you'd like. Then there's this very interesting mode which allows you to add gestures to control your device, which means you can swipe down to do volume controls, double tap to turn the power off, all sorts of cool stuff like that. The next up is Weather Timeline, which for 99 cents is the cheapest app on this list. This is personally my favorite Android weather app, and I just did a review on that topic so I've seen quite a few of them. Basically it presents the weather in a nice and unique format and it uses some material design elements all throughout. There's a pretty cool graph feature up here and a weather time machine that allows you to see the weather for any date in the future. One of my favorites is this animated weather map. This one has a bunch of different overlays where you can see what's going on in the weather around you and it's just a great supplement to an already awesome weather app. The next up we have Nova Launcher Prime which costs $4.99 but it unlocks some awesome features in one of Android's best launchers. Once you've installed the unlocker, you get access to cool settings like app drawer folders, unread count badges, and all of these awesome gestures that you can apply to your home screen, which makes one of Android's most customizable launchers even more customizable. The next up we have the Titanium Backup Pro Key, which unlocks a bunch of new features in Titanium Backup for $6.99. Of course, you'll still need to be rooted to use Titanium Backup either way, but this one adds some pretty cool stuff. For instance, you can freeze apps rather than uninstall them, which helps when you're trying to update a rooted phone. You can also use all these batch actions, which really helps when you're coming from a different custom ROM into another one. Then another great feature this has is the ability to convert a user app to a system app. So if you're a rooted user, this is a great investment. Last but certainly not least is my personal favorite paid Android app, which is Tasker, and it's $2.99 on the Play Store. I can't really do this one justice in a quick 30 second description. But basically it allows you to automate almost any aspect of your device. You can choose from one of many profile contexts which will then trigger a task which again has a ton of different options. Really if you've ever wondered can I make my phone do this or that, the answer probably is yes you can do it with Tasker. But this is just a starting point and of course there are tons of other great paid apps on the Google Play Store. If you have any paid apps that you'd like to recommend, let us know in the comments section below or head over to my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to do the same. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.